Hey guys, welcome back! So, this Mumblin strayed right in my path, and he's going to get it right in, well, I guess it was almost his butt cheek. And... We're almost done with this place, actually. I think we just have this pool of water to go through, and... That's just about it. Now, I want to head up here, because... If you haven't noticed, my supply of fairies is very, um lacking. So, we'll take care of that. Right, well, actually I didn't go right in the hole. I had to land and roll in, but oh well. Point is, fairies! Come here. I don't want to grab one accidentally like I did in that dungeon. Because that sucked. Next one, got him. Her. It. Thing. Got. Them. Okay, so, now that we have that taken care of, and I don't have to fear for my life every time I see a new enemy, we can head back on out of here. And up towards the, uh... I don't know what to call it. I guess the pedestal or... Platform. We'll just call it a platform. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Why didn't I dodge? Because I did. And... Oh! Ha! <laughs> awesome. I can't kill him. Well, actually I could. I just have to use bombs. I think. I'm not in the mood. Maybe on the way back. And now Link has memories about his old friend. Or childhood girlfriend, or... Whatever we want to consider Saria to him. And hey, it's Sheik! Didn't expect to see you here. Well, actually I did, but that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, I guess. Growing up sucks. I mean, really. When you get older, you have less time to play video games. Then you become like me and have a job and have to go, you know, meet your social responsibilities before you can have fun time. But at least we get to learn a nice little song from Sheik here. I... I don't know. This is probably one of my favorite songs we learn as an adult. Just the way it sounds. And it's really easy to remember. Because it's just A up and then you mash left, right, left, right till you get it done. Uh, but yeah, that's a nice little song. Yay, I've learned the Minuet of Forest. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. I guess it could be Minute of Forest, but that would make a little bit less sense to me. Hey, don't blind me. What is it with the Sheikah always trying to leave his, leave like ninjas? I mean, really. What the hell? Freaking alien ninjas. Okay, so... I want to go teach this guy a lesson now. Hey, you! Bombs! <laughs> wow, I didn't know it explode on contact. Awesome. Oh, that's why I did that, though. We got 15 rupees. I guess that's okay. I'm gonna say there's a chance he can drop uh, reds, which would you know actually make it worth doing. At least you know <laughs> in such a wasteful way of throwing bombs at his ass. Oh, did not expect it to work quite like that. And if you're wondering why I'm heading backwards, that's because I'm not going to the forest temple right now. Oh god, no. Dear lord, that's a death wish. Yeah, sorry for tricking you guys a little bit, but I figured I should go and collect the, uh, the song so I can get back here more easily, as well as get my fairies because, well, I need them so I don't die. And what we actually want to be doing is going in here! Yeah, remember this place I showed you? Let's just go right back to the Goron City. It's a nice little shortcut, I suppose, to get away from... or to get around the mountain, instead of having to go all the way up it again as an adult. Let's see, we have one person in here we're trying to run into. I think he's on this floor. 
and he's really easy to deal with if you have like arrows because what you need to do is blow up the Goron that's actually something of a uh, like side quest damn it Navi you you're really being annoying there he goes see that guy <sighs> Navi I don't care That's the really annoying thing about Navi, she takes up your up C button, so you can't go in the first person view as easily as you would like. Okay, let's see if I can't get him. Yes! First try! Yes, I'm Ganondorf, servant! You're doomed! My hookshot will destroy you! No, come on, kid. Get up. There we go. Speak to him. Yeah, oh, that's awkward. I never thought anyone else would be named Homer. You know, except for Greeks and cartoon characters. Yeah, I'm brave. I mean, really, look at me. I'm wearing green. That's like the color of courage. It's awesome. So, sure. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'm famous now. I'll sign your autograph. Or I'll give you an autograph. Although, don't most autographs have pictures attached to them? I mean, I, that's like, what, the stereotypical autograph? I guess celebrities can autograph, you know, random things as well, but... Oh no, he's upset himself. Uh... Uh, I never know what to do in these situations. I mean, people come to me crying, I'm like, uh, what do I do? Well, I'm pretty sure this time we actually just have to talk to him about both things. So, we'll just talk to him in the order of Dragon Goron, and then if he doesn't stop crying after that, I'll have to do Dragon again. Yeah, I know. I, I, this is a really cool story and all, dude, but, uh, could you stop crying and you know, let me get on with the game. <laughs> Can I speed the text up somehow, please? Oh my goodness. Yes, the Fire Temple. I know, that's where I'm actually going to be going now, because, well... There's actually less death waiting for me in the Fire Temple than there is in the Forest Temple. As odd-sounding as that is. Yeah... Cool, Valvega. Uh, Chugga Conroy's dragon. Yay, heat resistant tunic! But yeah, Valvega's a pretty cool boss, so I'm not gonna mind getting to fight him later on at all. <coughs> so, finally, these doors open up down there, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the Goron tunic on right now, because it's actually going to be better for me to have that than the Kokiri for pretty much any point in the game from now on because it gives me heat resistance. Kokiri too does nothing but look green. And no, neither of these colors are my favorite colors, so I guess I... Ooh! Red Rupee! I guess I really don't care one way or the other about them. But, um... Yeah, if I'm going to like, go for optimization here. It's going to end up being the red tunic for most of the time. And we can pull that statue and head right on in here. Into the Death Mountain Crater. Is that what you would call the inside of a, vo a volcano? A crater? Oh, I thought we always just called them death pits. Or lava pools. Then again, I didn't imagine most volcanoes to have interiors in which you could actually walk. Hey, it's Sheik, again! Hmm. So, we get to learn two songs in one video. Nice. Oh, right. The power of friendship. Because, you know... If you believe in the heart of the cards, and you believe in all your friends who believe in you, then you can do anything. 
Oh, Barolo of Fire. This is a really awesome song. <laughs> that was weird. I pushed down, but apparently I did it so fast that the game didn't register it. Either I just didn't completely press the button in. But yeah, I really... For anyone who doesn't know, I'm actually playing this on the Nintendo 64. I'm not, you know, doing a Wii download port of it or an emulator of it or anything. So I'm playing with the weird-ass Trident controller of the N64 era, which I actually really like for this game. Because, I don't know, just the way the C buttons are laid out, it's easier for me to use items with. And she disappears. <sighs> nice way to end this video, right? Stuck in a volcano with crazy people throwing nuts at me to disappear. But this is where we're going to head off, so have a good day, guys. <laughs>